Hey guys, Vitality here, and welcome back to an Ark Survival Evolved Guide. In today's video, I'll be showing 10 new rat holes I've not really ever seen before. Some of them are new discoveries, and some are rat holes that have just flown under the radar over time. There's definitely going to be a lot of rat holes on this top 10 list that I'm confident a lot of you have never seen before, but let me know in the comments section if you did know about them beforehand. It feels good to make a rat hole video, I generally make at least one a year, and if you guys have been watching me for a while, you know I used to have a lot of fun looking for them back in the day, so it feels really good to be getting back into it. With all that being said, I hope you enjoyed this video, and I hope you find it helpful. If you do, make sure to leave a like and hit subscribe. We're closing in on 100,000 subscribers, so any help towards that is greatly appreciated. Let's go over to the list. Coming in at number 10, we've got an underwater air pocket rat hole on Fjordor. Probably the most unique rat hole on this list. If you hover over the ocean at these coordinates and head straight down, you'll come across a hole in the sea floor. And all you have to do is swim straight down to enter the rat hole. And uh, yeah, here it is. I think this rat hole is one of the more well-known rat holes on this list of unknowns, but I definitely think it will be a new base location for a lot of people. I was certainly surprised by it, and yeah, I've been playing this game for years. You can build here on official, which makes it an excellent starter base for people playing solo or in small tribes. One of the only downsides is that it's so difficult to defend. Because of the nature of the rat hole, you've got to surround the entrance with turrets, and that doesn't make it easy to defend at all. I tried building here for a solo series and I got wiped pretty quickly, so if you do decide to build down here, do it at your own risk. Just thought I would show off the location because yeah, I think it's really unique and interesting and I haven't seen much about it before. Definitely a cool rat hole. Coming in at number 9, we have an extinction rat hole in the sunken forest. If you head to this place on the map and these coordinates, it'll lead you straight into a hole that leads into a tree. Now, I've shown this rat hole off in a video pretty recently, but I only just discovered it this year. I actually had no idea it existed before then, and I think it's pretty cool. You've got this long, narrow passageway at the front, which is almost a crouch entrance, and this area at the back is pretty spacious as well. I think it would make for an excellent starter base just to farm whilst you're building up. I wouldn't recommend living in here for long though, I've actually wiped this rat hole in a video with turtles. So it's definitely not unraidable, but the first day or so of an arc wipe, I think it would be a great spot. You can build on here on official, you've just got to make sure you use triangle foundations instead of normal ones, but other than that, that's about it. Definitely a nice rat hole. Moving into number 8, we've got an underwater rat hole on Genesis 1, in the ocean biome at these coordinates here. It's quite close to the surface, so you shouldn't have too much difficulty finding it. The hole is tucked into the side of a ledge, and as you can see, it's quite a small opening. Unfortunately, this rat hole isn't an air pocket like the first one on this list, which means you will need vacuum compartments to live here. But I did want to include it just because I think it's quite a decently sized rat hole, and I've not seen it in any videos from what I've seen. It's right up against the well barrier, and once you get tech turrets and heavies, I think it's one of the more easily defendable locations on this list. You should also be able to build here on official. I don't think it's too close to any mission areas, so you should be all good over there. I made sure not to include too many underwater rat holes that needed vacuum compartments on this list, but there are some really cool underwater air pockets coming up, so stay tuned to see more of those. At number 7, we've got quite an overpowered rat hole on Aberration in the blue zone at these coordinates here. It's difficult to say if it's ethically a good idea to build here. To enter the rat hole, you need to throw in an Ovis or a zipline, and that's really the only way in. I'm just going to go in through ghost mode though, just for the purpose of this video. As you can see, it's quite spacious, there's quite a high ceiling, and you know, you could definitely put a sizable base in here. As you can see, it's also buildable on official. Before you do build in here though, I would check to make sure it's allowed on the server you're playing on, and I'd also be careful when it comes to building here on official. What I'm trying to say is build here at your own risk. I think it's a pretty cool rat hole, um, but it's up for interpretation on whether or not it is allowed. I'll leave that for you guys to decide. Coming in at number 6, we've got a rat hole on Genesis 1, at this place on the map and at these coordinates. Now this one I think is slightly more legal than the last one, but you still need a crossbow to enter the spot. If you go prone and shoot a grapple into the entrance, you should get through pretty easily. I've only just learnt about this rat hole, and I was kind of taken by surprise. It does seem quite overpowered, and you know, I was kind of shocked I'd never seen it before. It is pretty spacious, and it does have a bit of a drop off here at the bottom. You can build here on official, it's just a little bit difficult, so it would probably be better to build here on an unofficial server. Assuming you can of course, um, make sure to double check with whatever admin you can get a hold of. 
Another one of those build here at your own risk moments. But if you can, I definitely would recommend it because I think it's pretty cool. And maybe I'm wrong and this is a well-known spot, but I just thought it was kind of obscure. Definitely took me by surprise and yeah, it's up there on the list. At number five, we've got another bog rat hole on Genesis 1. This one's a little bit smaller than the last and arguably not as easy to defend, but I did come across it recently and I hadn't seen it in a video, so here it is on the list. I don't play the Genesis map that much, so I could be wrong and this might be quite a well-known rat hole, but I don't remember including it in my last Genesis base location video, so chances are it's probably not that well known. If anything, I think it's quite out of the way, and it's a decent little spot to farm up in the early days. I wouldn't stay here for too long because it is a pretty easy turtle raid, and I'm not sure how long you'll stay hidden, but it's a new one for me, and it's got a place on the list. Coming in at number 4, we've got a rat hole on Crystal Isles, so we're switching things up a little bit at these coordinates at this lake. This spot is another underwater air pocket, so no vacuum compartments required, just in the corner down here, and yeah, I honestly love these little spots. As you can see, I've got the forge going in the corner as well, just to prove to you that I can turn things on down here. It's not too spacious, but I think it is incredibly hidden. Nobody is going to expect someone to be living under this random lake, and it's not like there's any reason for them to come down here in the first place. Not too sure if it would be an easy spot to defend, I think it might get raided pretty quickly if it gets found. Um, but I've definitely seen worse base locations, and overall I'd say it's one of the more unique spots on this list. At number 3, I've got another underwater spot on Crystal Isles. Now, this is the only other location that needs vacuum commandments to live in. And the only reason I'm including it is because I think it's so overpowered. If you get a base in here, I'm pretty sure it's unraidable. The entrance is absolutely tiny, you've just got to swim down that hole. And I think because of the way it's formed, I'm pretty sure you can't throw turtles in. I could be wrong, so it might be a good idea to double check before you do build in there. But aside from that, it's a pretty medium size. It opens up a little bit at the back here. I think it's a good place for a solo or a duo. On the off chance you need a place to store some loot, I doubt anyone would come across it, and I think it's definitely up there. And of course, assuming you can't throw turtles in, definitely a very strong spot. I'm not really too sure how you could rate it, um, so if you've reached tech tier and you're looking for a good spot, I would honestly 100% recommend this one. It's a banger of a spot. At number 2, we've got an underwater air pocket on Ragnarok. I know I'm really getting into these air pockets, um, but trust me, they're seriously pretty cool. This one is just at the very bottom in the middle of the ocean. It's such a random place for it to be. I'm really scratching my head trying to understand how it came to happen. Uh, but it's, it's here, it is what it is, I'm not complaining about it. It's quite large as well, there's no issue with turning things on and off down here, even despite the fact that the water animation is still going on on your screen. I'm sure that would get quite annoying after a while. Obviously there's no issue with drowning down here either. It just looks like you're underwater even though you're not. I'm sure this place would be pretty difficult to defend, but you've got to wonder if you even need to defend it at all. Maybe after this video comes out, potentially. This location is buildable on official, and I think it's definitely one I might end up using in the future. So at number one, we've got probably the most overpowered base location on this list, on extinction in the wasteland. If you head to this place on the map and these coordinates, then go straight up into this hole near these roots, You'll see an entrance that you will need to use a Pelagornis for, or an Obus to get access to, but for the sake of this video I'm just in ghost mode to get through it. I'm not really too sure if this rat hole would be legal to build in, there's quite a big entrance into the mesh over this way so there might be some kill barriers or mesh detection down here. I wouldn't build here unless you guys were confident it was allowed, but on most servers it probably won't be. On my server for example, I don't think I'd allow this space location. You guys might find some use for it though, which is why it's on the list, and it's certainly incredibly well hidden. I think it's a pretty good route hole for the number one spot, and I'm happy to have it at the end of the list. So that just about wraps up my 10 new route holes for 2023. I'll probably make another video like this next year for 2024, and so on until Arc 2 gets released. I hope they're helpful for you and you find a use for them. Definitely important to keep in mind what I said about the dodgy ones, but overall I think this is a pretty clean list. There's going to be quite a lot of comments saying, oh, why would you show these base locations off? They're probably not going to be hidden now. And you're not wrong. But I just think it's pretty cool that even, you know, eight years after the game was released, we're still finding new rat holes to build in. And I think the underwater air pockets definitely are a new take on the whole hidden base location genre. Let me know if you knew any of these spots in the comment section below and what you thought about them. 
and like the video to show your support. We're going for 100,000 subscribers, so any help towards that is amazingly appreciated, and yeah, I hope you guys have an amazing rest of your day. I'll see you all in the next one.